welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I eat in a day on the WW Purple Plan. So for breakfast, I have two jumbo eggs, which I always take one of the yolks out. So it's actually one jumbo egg and the egg whites from the other. And I scrambled it up. I put some onion powder, salt and pepper, and two of these brown... Uh, banquet brown and serve turkey sausages, which I cut up into little rings and I put that inside of the egg mixture. And I like my eggs well done. I don't like them runny. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one piece of my Velveeta queso blanco cheese. It's one slice for one point. And trying to do this with one hand here. And this is a lot of egg and a, a lot of sausage. It might not, not look like much, but it is. It's very filling. And I'm just going to place that onto my Stop and Shop Light English Muffin, which is two points. I am going to be adding a little bit of my sugar-free ketchup, which is zero points. So... Two eggs, zero points. My grapes, zero points. I have two pieces of sausage for two points. One slice of cheese for one point. One light English muffin for two points. So this breakfast comes to five points. And I did spray the pan with my olive oil spray, zero points. So yeah, so that's my breakfast. It, this is very filling. That's a lot of egg. Two jumbos with the one yolk taken out. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of ketchup and then good to go. So that is my breakfast for today. Stay tuned and keep watching and you're going to see what I'm going to make for my snack for tonight, my dinner and my lunch. I'll be back. Okay, so for my delicious lunch today, I am obsessed with these. These are the Coco Light uh, Pop Cakes. These are the Maui Onion flavored. They are delicious. They're so, let me show you. They're not like a rice cake, but they're so light and airy and delicious and they're great for sandwiches. Great to uh, do with dips. They're so good. So anyhow, on my on my pop cake, I have four ounces of Boar's Head Oven Gold Turkey Breast, which is zero points. And one of these is, one piece is zero points. So I have some salt and pepper on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the ribs out of these jalapenos and some of the seeds because I don't want it too hot. And I just like a little spice with my sandwich. So I'm just gonna put a few pieces here and there. I love jalapeno, I eat jalapeno every single day on several different foods. Then I'm just gonna take some white onion. And then last but not least, my tomato. And that, my friends, is going to be like a tostada sandwich. If you ever got like a tostada or a Taco Bell, it's just a flat thing that you eat like this. Well, this is my sandwich and it's zero points. So zero points for the, for the uh, pop thing. This is the first time I ever saw them. I bought them at Best Jet and I'm literally obsessed. And then I just heat it up which is hot, let me grab. I heated up a tiny little bowl. This is like a half a cup of my zero point chili. And my chili has in it ground chicken, which I grind my own, so every piece of fat is off. So my, my chicken, my ground chicken is zero points. Two Toroso uh, tomato puree which is zero points. I put 
uh, a little bit of barley in it just to make it like more substantial, which barley is zero points. And then, of course, onions and peppers and all the spices and garlic and jalapenos. So that's actually my zero point lunch for today. So that's what it is. My turkey sandwich on this type of a flat bread for zero points and then my chili for zero points. I'm doing a zero point lunch today because I'm going to be doing a pork chop for dinner, which is higher in points. And yeah, so this is a zero point lunch. Very filling, very delicious and stay tuned for dinner. Okay, so to make my potato pancakes, I'm just putting some potato in my food processor. And some onion. My shredded onion and my shredded potato which I am now going to just soak in some water because I'm not ready to make them right now and this way it'll get all the starch out and keep the potato from turning brown but that is how I shred up my potatoes and my onion for my zero point potato pancakes okay so for my potato pancakes in the big bowl, I mixed some onion powder, garlic powder, two eggs, and salt and pepper. And then I took out what I'm going to use for myself. And I added one teaspoon of all-purpose flour and like an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. And I just mixed that in. It's getting really hot. So now I'm going to make two pancakes out of this, and I'm just going to put half on there and the other half over here. You really don't want to add too much of the flour because then that's how you're going to add all your points. And you don't want to do that. You want to keep this at zero points because the potatoes zero points. The onion is zero points. One teaspoon of flour is zero points. So these potato pancakes are going to be zero points. And I love these. I make these a lot. I just like them crispy. And like I said, in my husband's, um, I'm just going to put like about a half a cup of flour and a, like a teaspoon of the baking powder. And his are going to rise a little bit higher and be thicker where mine aren't. But that's okay. I like mine like this. And this is the Weight Watchers friendly way to do them. So I'm just going to fry these on both sides. Then I'm just going to wash out the pan and I'm going to grill up my pork chop. So what I did was I took a pork chop that had the bone. These are the other two I'll be making for my husband. So they were just regular pork chops with the bone. And I took the bone and the fat off of it. And I just seasoned it with this Goya seasoning. I absolutely love this seasoning. I get it at Walmart. It's called Sazonador Total. So, but yeah, I get this at Walmart. And I just season both sides and I'm just gonna grill it. And then I'm gonna make a vegetable. And after the pancakes are done and after I grill my pork chop, I'll show you how the plate looks and then show you what I made okay, myself. Okay, so my plate is done. I have my three and a half ounces of pork chop there, some peas, my unsweetened applesauce, a half a cup, and my two potato pancakes came out beautiful. Now you can see the difference. Here's my husband's plate with the thickness because of the flour to how thin my, mine are and they're basically just potato. So you could definitely see the difference between the two. But yeah, so that's my dinner for tonight. 
I'm going to put at the end all of the points for the whole entire day. Um, I believe the pork chop is three points. Peas is zero. My applesauce is zero. And my pancakes is zero. So this is basically a three-point dinner. And my breakfast was five points. My lunch was zero. So, so far, an eight-point day. And then I did make for my um, dessert, I have here some sugar-free strawberry jello with tons of strawberries in it. It's one of my favorite desserts to eat. So I have that, and that's going to be my dessert for tonight. Now, it says on the package of Jell-O, um, you know, zero points for a quarter of it. So actually, this should be like four servings. I just made it, so it's not set yet. Um, but I eat the whole thing. So I always count it as count it as one. But yeah, so that is my dinner for today. And that's what I ate today on the Weight Watchers Purple Plan. I'm just cooking my husband's pork chops here. Look at this big giant potato pancake I made. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this in a pan, like in a baking dish tomorrow morning, with scrambled eggs on top of it, and make him like, I don't know, some kind of thing with it for breakfast. So I'll use these for his breakfast for the next couple days, because he'll never eat all that. And uh, yeah, so that is what I ate for today. Um, I was supposed to do yesterday a video on... A one-point dessert, but I did go to two stores, and I could not find the one ingredient that I needed. So I apologize for that. I spoke to the store manager. What I needed for the dessert, they will prob probably be getting in on Tuesday on the truck. So I'm going to have to wait until my ingredient comes in until I can make that dessert. So I apologize for that, because I believe in my macaroni and cheese video, I did say that I would be doing a one-point dessert on Thursday, which was yesterday. So, um, yeah, so thanks everybody for tuning in. Let me just turn his pork chops before they burn. Um, I appreciate you turning in. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button. Please hit that notification bell. And I will be doing tons more videos on what I eat on Weight Watches on the WW Purple Plan. Also, I'm frying his stuff in a little bit of oil. But my pork chop and my potato pancakes, I use the spray. So his pancakes, I fried the regular way in a little bit of oil. As you can see, there's not much oil in the pan. But I did use the spray for mine. So yeah, so thanks everybody for tuning in. And everybody have a blessed day. Everybody stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.